Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Robert Adams Field here in Holliston, Mass. For tonight's playoff game in the MIBL against the King for the, with the Kingston Road Warriors facing off against the Ashland Sevens. Starting lineups first for the visiting team from Kingston. Leading off number 20, the right fielder, Tom Olson. The center fielder, number five, Mike Beals. Batting third, number 23, first baseman, Chris Quigley. In the cleanup spot, number 58, the pitcher, Mike Schmitz. Batting fifth. Wearing number 24, the shortstop, Jack Quigley. Batting six, number 25, the left fielder, Jackson Milbert. In the seven hole, the third baseman, number 12, Jake Holmes. Batting eighth, number 05, the second baseman, Dan Inglis. And batting ninth, wearing number three, the catcher, Billy O'Neill. Kingston is coached by head coach Tony Green. And now, your starting lineups for the Ashland Sevens. Leading off, playing third base, wearing number 16, Mason Dushney. Batting second, number 10, the center fielder, Sam Farrell. Batting third at second base, number 15, Jackson Hornung. In the cleanup spot, the first baseman, number two, Dom Kavanaugh. Batting fifth, the shortstop, number 13, Tyler Dossis. Batting sixth, the left fielder, number 14, Kevin Balowitz. Batting seventh, number 22, the designated hitter, Connor Kramer. Batting eighth, wearing number 44, the catcher, Max Dushney. Batting ninth, number 19, in right field, Nick Calabrese. On the mound for Ashland tonight, number 99, Matty Tomaselli. Ashland is led by head coach Jake Obed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we draw your attention to just in front of the pitcher's mound where we're going to call on our ceremonial first pitch thrower tonight, Jonathan Gerber. <laughs> Jonathan Gerber is the head of JG Medical. He's a fine citizen of Holliston. He's a active member of our community here in Holliston and the team especially would like to thank him this year. He's been their sponsor. He enabled them to have the season. They're all very thankful as are we all in Holliston to have Jonathan as a member of our community. Jonathan, go ahead. Let's see. Steve thank you, Jonathan. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if you please remove your caps, direct your attention over the left field, over the left field parking lot, toward the flag in the distance at this time. Please join in singing of our national anthem.
And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Adams Field at Holliston Middle School. It's Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, as well as HCAT in Holliston. Tom Nappy on the call, Connor Donovan on camera, and it's playoff game number one as the 16th seeded Kingston, who comes into tonight with a 1 and 14 record takes on first seeded 14 and one Ashland. Matty Tomaselli gets the start for the sevens this evening. Let's take a look at the Ashland sevens diamond. Matty Tomaselli is on the mound. His catcher is Max Dushney. Dom Cavanaugh at first base. Jackson Horning at second base. Tyler Dossis, the shortstop. Mason Dushney at third base from left to right. Kevin Balowitz, Sam Farrell, and Nick Calabrese. As for Kingston, leading things off, it'll be the right fielder, Tommy Olson. Batting second is the center fielder, Mike Beals. Hitting third, first baseman, Chris Quigley. The pitcher, Mike Schmitz, will bat cleanup. Jack Quigley, the shortstop, hitting fifth. Jackson Milbury, the left fielder, hitting sixth. Jake Holmes, the third baseman, hitting seventh. Dan Inglis, the second baseman hitting eighth, and Billy O'Neill, the catcher, hitting ninth. It is a beautiful evening for playoff baseball here at Adams Field. Temperatures are in the mid-70s, and the skies, well, there's some clouds, but nothing threatening. It should be a clear night for some good baseball. Last time these two teams met, it was pretty recent. They met up on July 27th, and it ended in a 10-6 Ashland win. But Kingston certainly has some bats in their lineup to look out for, especially when you get down to the middle part of that order. And, of course, in playoff baseball, anything can happen. So the Sevens will certainly hope to get the bats going here tonight. Matty Tomaselli on the mound. We'll get you his stats in just a moment, but the HCAM Weather Center reading at 77 degrees tonight, and it is just a gorgeous night for some baseball. This is the second game on this field here today. Walpole getting a win over Weymouth earlier. 3-1 to one was the final in that game here in pod one of the tournament. The way it works, all 16 teams make the playoffs, but of course, based on wins and losses, it will depend if you are going to have home field advantage. And we are ready to get things going. Tommy Olson, the right fielder, steps in. Matty Tomaselli is set to deal, and we are underway here at Adams Field. Home plate umpire behind the mound as the first pitch a little high. One and O. Oh. The Ashton Sevens putting Manny Tomaselli out on the mound today. He's worked eight and a third of an inning on this season. And there's a strike, one and one. And we'll get you up to date on all the playoff games happening tonight and all the games that have taken place. And excuse me, it was Walpole getting the win over Hyde Park in the first game here today. Three to one was the final in that game as the count is one and two on Olsen. Tomaselli set to deal, wind up and the pitch. A little outside, says the home plate umpire. Another action, Natick defeated Weymouth 11 to one to move on to the winner's Bracket in pod two. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Out number one. And that'll bring up Mike Beals, the center fielder. Number five, the center fielder, Mike Beals. And we have some PA announcing in the house tonight as well. A great ceremony to start things off. And a big thank you to the sponsors of this Ashland 7 season, allowing them to play this summer, of course, with the cancellation of Legion. First pitch to Beals is a little outside, one and oh. So the other game in pod two happening right now, 15th seeded Westwood at Braintree, seven o'clock start in that one. Then at Franklin, you got pod three, Dedham 
The 14th seed taking on Medfield. That was a 5 o'clock game. There's a strike. And then 11 seed Canton taking on Franklin as the nightcap. An 8 p.m. start in that one. And then at Quincy, then in Quincy at Adams Field, you got Needham and Milton at 5 o'clock. And Norwood and Quincy at 8 o'clock. First pitch is inside there. Two and one on Beals. Tomaselli set to deal. Fouled away. At backstop here at Adams Field, very close to home plate. Not a lot of space to work with behind there. Two and two count. And of course, there is no home run fence here, so pretty much anything hit that ends up in the parking lot is a ground rule double. As this is hit in the air, right side, Kavanaugh ranging over, he'll make the catch. Two away. That'll bring up Chris Quigley, the first baseman. First baseman, number 23, Chris Quigley. Matty Tomaselli has a win and a save on the season on the mound. Swing and a miss there. He can certainly throw fire. I believe he may be a double Rosti, if I'm not mistaken. He's worked eight solid innings this year for the sevens. Is that pitch down low? One and one. He has a 1.75 ERA. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, two and one. Set to deliver. There's a strike, two and two. Tomaselli sets a deal. Fouled away. Into the parking lot it goes off the school. And will it come off that roof? We shall see, and it does. Set to deliver the 2-2. Little high, says the home plate umpire. Full count. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll wrap up inning number one. We'll head to the bottom of the first, the Ashland Sevens coming up to bat on HCAM, WACA-TV, or HCAT. The first inning, the Ashland Sevens coming up to the plate. Scoreless game here between Ashland and Kingston. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Sevens. Third baseman Mason Dushney will start things off. The center fielder Sam Farrell batting second. Hitting third is second baseman Jackson Hornung, the cleanup man, Dom Cavanaugh, who's playing first base today. Tyler Dossis, the shortstop, hitting fifth. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder, hitting sixth. Connor Kramer, the DH, hitting seventh. Max Dushney, the catcher, hitting eighth. And Nick Calabrese, the right fielder, hitting ninth. As Dushney will step in. On the mound for Kingston is Mike Schmitz. Billy O'Neill is behind the plate. Chris Quigley over at first base. Dan Inglace, the second baseman. Jack Quigley at shortstop. Jake Holmes at third base. And we'll get you left to right after this pitch down low. From left to right, it is Jackson Milbert. The center fielder is Mike Beals. Tommy Olson, the right fielder. One and oh count on Mason Dushney. Wind up and the pitch, and he'll get a piece of this one over to right field, and it's caught. One away. Center fielder number 10. Sam That'll bring up Sam Farrell. Farrell. <laughs> nice experience 
for these players here today, getting some walk-up music as they come to the plate. Line up and the pitch. A little low there, one and oh. Schmidt set to deal. And it'll make it a two and oh count. Sam Farrell on the season, a 367 batting average, 620 on base percentage. Of course, he was the hero in that game against Medfield because he had a solo shot, a nice slide home. Three and oh count now. Well, Farrell just finds a way to get on base constantly. He's had 11 walks this season. There's a strike, three and one. Nice crowd on hand here to take in the action between Ashland and Kingston. And playoff game number one for the sevens. Leg lift and the pitch. And that is fouled away, out of play it goes. Good effort there by the pitcher. Three and two. The lights are on here at Adams Field. Robert H. Adams Field here in Holliston. Line up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one up the left side and it's bobbled by the shortstop. That'll allow Farrell to reach, tough play to make. I'm gonna give him an error there. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung. Jackson Hornung, a 471 batting average on the season, 600 on base percentage. And he has done a whole lot of damage at the plate. Two home runs on the year, 15 RBIs, 22 runs scored for Jackson Hornung, a tremendous multi-sport athlete. Check it on Farrell, he slides back safely. Schmitz takes a look at first and is set to deal. There's a called strike. Line up and the pitch, runner taking off the throw up. And it is not in time. A stolen base for Sam Farrell. Well, Ashland had a whole lot of steals against Kinks the last time they met up. Nine steals overall for the Sevens back on the 27th of July in that 10 to six win against Kingston. They manufactured a whole lot of runs in that game. Here's the one one. And Hornung gets a piece of this. Through the gap it goes. Farrell to third being waved around. Here he comes and he will score. And now Hornung heading to second on the throw in. And RBI is single in advance on the throw by Jackson Hornung. That'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh, the first, first baseman. baseman. Dom Cavanaugh. And just like that, a one nothing lead for the sevens. One out in the inning. Kavanaugh steps in. He has 17 RBIs on the season, six runs. And he'll take that one high. One and oh. A 324 batting average for Kavanaugh, 419 on base percentage. Jackson Hornung with a good lead off a of second as this is hit up the middle, past the reach of the shortstop. Hornung's going to be waved around, and he will come around to score. And Dom Kavanaugh's aboard with an RBI single. A 2 0 lead for the Sevens, and that'll bring up Tyler Dossis, the shortstop. Tyler Dossis, a 333 batting average on the season, 420 on base percentage. Another guy who has hit the ball well for the Sevens 10 RBIs, 12 runs scored. 
Kavanaugh taking off to second. The throw up is going to be off the mark. A stolen base for Dom Kavanaugh. That's the sixth stolen base of the season for Kavanaugh. Wind up and the pitch. Outside, nearly got away from the catcher. One and O is the count. Kevin Balowitz do up next. Schmitz set to deal. Breaking pitch, dropped by the catcher. Goes in there for strike, one and one. Runner on second, two runs already in for the sevens, one out in the inning. Winner of this game will play tomorrow night, eight o'clock. The loser will play at five o'clock. That pitch is in there for strike two, one and two. Winner of this game takes on Walpole. Loser takes on Hyde Park. Inside. And no, it hit him. Free pass to first base for Dossus. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. Kevin Balowitz has had a good season with the bat. 239 batting average, 315 on base percentage, but he's been hitting the ball very good as of late. And it'll take a strike there. Oh, one count. Runners on first and second. And he'll get a piece of this one over to left center. That'll drop in. Lead runner Dom Cavanaugh being waved around. He will come around to score. An RBI single for Kevin Balowitz. It's 3 nothing. Ashland Sevens. Up to second goes Dossis. That'll bring up Connor Kramer, the DH. Connor Kramer was in the lineup Ladies and gentlemen, in the last the game against Kingston. In the right field area by the gray and he garage. had a great to game. The white F he had four stolen bases in that game, scored a pair of runs. An Acura 3TJ S91 and the white F150 truck 85G H67. If you could please move those two vehicles. On the season, the Connor Kramer, garage, a 222 batting average, 417 on base percentage. He has scored five runs and driven in one. And now we'll get an opportunity to drive in more. Sevens quickly up three to nothing here on Kingston. Tyler Dossis at second, Balowitz at first. And Kramer to the plate. And it looks like we're gonna have a new pitcher for Kingston. So we'll take a quick time out and update you on who that is. You are tuned in to Ashland Seven Summer Baseball. Designated yep. hitter, Connor Kramer. New pitcher for Kingston, Mike Beals is on the mound. He was the original center fielder. Starting pitcher, Mike Schmitz has moved over to second base and Dan English moves back to center field as Kramer is squaring to bunt. Third baseman moves in and a, almost a check in on Dossis at second base, but he quickly returns to the bag. Beals set to deal. Bunt pulled back and a good eye there by Kramer. That was ball one, one and oh. And a three nothing lead for the sevens. The starter Mike Schmitz knocked out of the game after a third of an inning. Gave up three runs, two of which were earned, two hits, a walk and hit a batter. There's a strike, one and one. Wind up and the pitch to Kramer, swing and a miss, one and two. Dossis at second, Balowitz at first. After a nice piece of hitting by Balowitz, drove in Kavanaugh. 
That's Dello, gets away from the catcher, both runners advance. Two and two is the count on Kramer. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Two away. It'll bring up Max Dushney, who's catching today. He's been a great utility man for the Sevens. They've put him in a lot of various places on the field, typically at second base or shortstop, but now they're using him behind the plate. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Swung for the high cheese there. Max Dushney, a 2.22 on the season, 3.18 on base percentage. He's had 22 plate appearances. Fouled away. 0 oh and 2. Two on, two outs, three runs in for the Sevens here in the bottom of the first. Wind up and the pitch, and he'll get a piece of this one over to right field and caught by the first baseman for the third out. But the Sevens play three runs, and they lead it three to nothing as we head to the top of the second on H Camp, WACA TV, and H Cat. Top of the second inning, a three to nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. Four, five, and six, two up for Kingston. Mike Schmitz, who started the game on the mound, steps in. He moved over to Mike second base. Schmitz. It's Schmitz, Quigley, and Milbert do up for Kingston. Manny Tomaselli out there for his second inning of work. Line up and the pitch. A little low there, one and oh. Tomaselli struck out two in the first inning. Swing and a miss, one and one. Tomaselli set to deal. There's strike two, one and two. Set to deal. And a little high, says the umpire. Two and two. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike three. Got him looking. One away. Jack Quigley, the shortstop, will step in. Shortstop, Jack Quigley. His warm up action for Kingston. Wind up and the pitch. Inside. Well, these games in the early round, certainly important ones. You want to get into that winner's bracket instead of having to battle your way back. That pitch high, 2 and 0. Oh. Wind up and the pitch. And this is right up the middle. Tomaselli will glove it, flip it to first, not a problem. One to three for out number two. That'll bring up Jackson Milbert, the left fielder. Number 25 playing left field, Jackson Milbert. Tomaselli set to deal. There's a strike. Wind up and the pitch. A little outside, one and one. Tomaselli deals, swing and a miss, one and two.
Lined up and the pitch. Hit in the air, over to right field and caught. Four out number three, a one, two, three, top of the second. To the bottom of the second we go. The Sevens leading Kingston three to nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Playoff Baseball. Bottom of the second inning, 9-1 and 2 do up for the Sevens. Nick Calabrese to start things off, followed by Mason Dushney and Sam Farrell. This is a good way to start off an inning with the red hat Nick Calabrese at the plate. He has been sensational with the bat all season long. Wind up and the pitch down low. Mike Beals out there on the mound for Kingston there. Second pitcher of the game after Mike Schmidt struggled to get an out. Pitched just a third of an inning. Is that pitch down low? Nick Calabrese on the season. How about this? A 615 batting average, 667 on base percentage. All of his hits have been singles. Is that pitch up high? 3 and 0. 11 RBIs, 14 runs. Six walks on the year for Nick Calabrese. Line up and the pitch. In there for a strike. Beals set to deliver. That's fouled away. I think that might have. Got pretty close to the light there and just maybe avoided it. Beals set to deal. And this is hit in the air over to left center. That'll drop in for a hit. Nick Calabrese just continuing. So just straight out hit the ball, and he's aboard with a leadoff single. That'll bring up Mason Dushney, the third baseman. Runner on first, no outs for the sevens. A little outside there. Here's the 1 0. Checking at first, runner back safe. Pretty good pickoff attempt there by Beals. Dushney flew out in the first inning to start things off. Wind up and the pitch. That hit him. He's heading to first. Took one for the team there. Two on, no outs. Sam Farrell to the plate. We're going to get a discussion on the mound as Coach Green's going to come out to talk to his pitcher. And he's going to take the ball it looks like and we will indeed have our third pitcher of the game for Kingston we're gonna step aside we'll come back and let you know who that is Ashland leading Kingston three to nothing in the bottom of the second on HCAM WACA TV and HCAT Continuing on in the bottom of the second, third pitcher of the game for Kingston, Kean Lennox out there Farrell. to take over pitching duties. Sam Farrell will step in. He was actually the starter for Kingston last game against the Sevens. He did go the distance. They left him out there as they only had nine players available that day. But certainly is a bit of a slow mover out there in his windup, so 
Stolen base is a high probability when he's out there on the hill. First pitch to Farrell is a ball, one and oh. Two on, no outs for the sevens, who already lead it three to nothing. There's a strike, one and one from the breaking pitch. Looks like a bit of maybe a knuckleball type of delivery for Lennox. And this is hit in the air over to left field. Could be trouble, and that'll drop down. That is going to be a ground rule double, I believe. And it will indeed. So that is going to allow Nick Calabrese to score the fourth run for the sevens. And a ground rule double for Sam Farrell, as well as an RBI. If they had a fence out there, that might have been out of the ballpark. But now you got Jackson Hornung to the plate, the second baseman. Four nothing lead for the sevens. Hornung had an RBI single in the first inning. Scored the first run of the game, drove around Farrell. Now has an opportunity to drive around Farrell again as he's at second base, Dushney at third. No outs in the inning. Lennox deals. Outside, one and oh. Well, the bats immediately getting going for the sevens here in playoff game number one. Down low, two and oh. Dom Cavanaugh do up next. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss, two and one. And Jackson's teammates giving him a little nagging on that one. A one five. What up, baby? Two one pitch. Inside, good eye there, three and one. Lennox set to deal. And this is hit high in the air over to shallow left field. Shortstop ranging back, and he won't make the catch. Here comes Dushney around to score. And he will score. That was hit very high in the air. Tough play to make by the shortstop. John Quigley who really had a range. And a run scores. Dushney comes around. I'm scoring that a single. We'll look at the official scorebook. But two on, another run in, and it's five nothing sevens. Dom Cavanaugh to the plate. Still no outs in the inning. There's a pitch in there for a strike. Breaking ball, 0 and 1. Lennox from the stretch. And he deals. And Kavanaugh will get a piece of this one. Over to left field it goes. And that is going to drop in for another ground rule double. Sam Farrell comes around to score. And Hornung advances to third. Kavanaugh board with the RBI double. And that will bring up Tyler Dossis. A six to nothing lead for the sevens. Well, that would have, if there was a fence out there, that would have been out. But of course, no fence here at Adams Field, so anything hit in that area is a ground rule double. Dossis was hit by a pitch in the first inning. A 6 nothing lead for the Sevens. Up high. One and O. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Lineup and the pitch. And Dossis hits this one in the air over to center field. It's caught, and Hornung's going to tag. Here he comes, and he will score a 7 nothing lead for the Sevens. Oh, and apparently he did drop it, so unable to hang on. So Dossis reaches on the error. Kavanaugh up to third. Hornung comes around to score. Kingston just having all kinds of problems. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. So not only do you get the run, but still no outs in the inning. Drop ball by the center fielder. Runner taking off from first, an easy advance for Dossus. There's a strike to Balowitz. 0 oh and 1. Balowitz had an RBI single in the first inning. Line up and the pitch. And he'll hit this one in the air over to right field. Could be trouble. That'll drop down for a hit. Kavanaugh's around to score. Doss is held up at third. An RBI single for Kevin Balowitz. Eight to nothing. Sevens, five more runs here in the second inning. Connor Kramer will step up to the plate. From Holliston, Connor Kramer. But first, uh, Billy O'Neill wants a discussion with... Key and Lennox. The Sevens bats rolling right along here in the second inning. And if this keeps up, it'll certainly be a pretty short game innings wise. Kramer struck out in the first inning. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Well, Lennox doesn't have a whole lot of velocity on his pitches, but a good uh, amount of movement on some of his breaking stuff. But seven's just teeing off. Runner from first, easy advance. Balowitz with a stolen base. That's already four stolen bases in the game for the Sevens. One-one pitch. And Kramer will put this one up the middle, takes a couple of hops, and he is gonna beat it out. An infield single for Connor Kramer. Dossis on third, Balowitz on second, Kramer on first, Max Dushney to the plate. Bases loaded, no outs, and the sevens have batted around here in the bottom of the second. Max Dushney with an opportunity here to break this game wide open. He'll take one low, one and oh. Sevens leading Kingston eight to nothing. Nice way to start off the postseason. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air. That'll get down into right center. Dossis is around to score. Here comes Balowitz around to score. And Kramer's aboard at third. A 10 to nothing Ashland Sevens lead. A two RBI single for Max Dushney. And that'll bring up Nick Calabrese. Nick Calabrese. The Sevens just absolutely teeing off on this Kingston pitching. The Calabrese singled earlier in the inning and scored a run. Still no outs, and he'll get a piece of this. Up the right side, gloved by the first baseman, throws a second for one, and that's all they'll get as another run comes around to score. Connor Kramer comes around to score. So Calabrese reaches on the sacrifice, force out. 
Four to six force up with a sacrifice RBI for Calabrese. That'll bring up Mason Dushney for the third time in the game, second time in the inning. An 11 to nothing lead for the Sevens. Eight runs plated in this inning. And only one out down low. Well, if this keeps up, I'd imagine just about everybody on the sevens bench will get an opportunity to hit in this game. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the middle. Glove by the shortstop. He'll step on second for one. The throw over. And they get the double play. Will need a double play there. A six to three double play. But not before the Ashland sevens plate. Eight runs in the inning. They lead it 11 to nothing as we head to the top of the third on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Top of the third inning, an 11 to nothing lead for the Sevens. Jake Holmes steps in to face Matty Tomaselli. Seven, eight, and nine do up for Kingston. Wind up and the pitch. A little outside, one and oh. More warm up action for Kingston. Leg lift and the pitch, swing and a miss. One and one. Jake Holmes, Dan Inglis, and Billy O'Neill do up for Kingston. Matty Tomaselli deals, and this is hit in the air, foul out of play. One and two. Connor Donovan on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. Ashland Sevens playoff baseball. There's strike three, got him looking. Fourth strikeout of the game for Tomaselli. Now we'll bring up Dan Inglis, the second baseman. Now it looks like we're going to have Lennox hit in his place. Mind up and the pitch, fouled away. Oh, and one. Well, a three run first inning for the Sevens, an eight run second inning. They are cruising so far. Line up and the pitch. Down low. The Sevens were able to. Get in some batting practice yesterday at the Metro West Sports Center, the indoor facility. There's a strike. Two and two. Set to deliver. Fouled away. Two two pitch. Inside full count. Thomas Selly deals. Swing and a miss. Out number two. Strikeout number five for Thomas Selly. And that'll bring up Billy O'Neill, the catcher. Out batting number 11, Nick Girardi. We're gonna have Nick Girardi hit instead. And that hit him. And that'll bring up the right fielder, Tommy Olson. First base runner of the game for Kingston. Number 20, Tommy Olson. A 
Kingston has a pretty good history in Zone 6 baseball. They're in the uh, state tournament, I believe it was last year. They've lost a lot of players since. But they've got a lot of younger kids on the team, getting them some good competitive experience this year in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. That pitch inside, one and one. Thomas Sally deals. There's a strike, one and two. Thomas Selly looking for his sixth strike out of the game. Inside, two and two. Tomaselli from the stretch, looks at first. And deals, down low. Full count pitch. And it'll be a walk for Olsen. I'll bring up Mike Beals. First real struggle that uh, Thomas Selly has had all game. Number five, Mike two on, Beals. two outs. There's a strike. Inside, one and one. Fouled away, one and two. Tomaselli from the stretch. Two on, two outs. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, got away from the catcher, no throw. So O'Neill advances to third. Runners on the corners for Kingston. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Count is two and two. Set to deliver, down low, runner from first is gonna take off, he'll have a stolen base. Full count on Beals. Well, Tom Selly in a bit of a bind here. And this is up the middle, glove by the second baseman. Throw to first, not a problem. Four to three, four out number three. To the bottom of the third we go. The Ashland Sevens leading Kingston in playoff action, 11 to nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Baseball. Bottom of the third inning, Sam Farrell stepping up to the plate. Two, three, and four, two up for the sevens. 
Line up and the pitch. Farrell hits this one high in the air over to left center. Center field ranging over. He'll make the catch one away. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung, who's two for two today. He's also scored two runs and driven in one. This game had a eight o'clock start tonight. Wind up and the pitch. Little low, one and oh. Hornung also has a stolen base to his credit. A pitch up high, two and O. Oh. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, two and one on Hornung. Well, we'll see if Lennox can settle the sevens lineup down a little bit. Three runs in the first inning for the sevens, eight more in the second inning. And there's a called strike. Two and two. Wind up and the pitch. Hornung fouls that into the backstop. Count remains two and two. Lennox set to deliver. And Hornung asking if he was going to get the march down to first, and he will. That'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh. So that did get a piece of Hornung as Cavanaugh steps in. Wind up and the pitch, Hornung taking off. Cavanaugh hits this in the air. Over to right field, that'll drop down for a hit. Here comes Hornung over to third base and he'll be held up there. Tom Cavanaugh aboard at second base with the stand-up double. Runners on second and third, one out. Tyler Dossis to the plate. Dossis has been hit by a pitch and reached on an error. Scored one of the eight runs in the second inning. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, gets by the catcher. Horning thought about taking off. Kavanaugh at second, Horning at third. And Jackson really wanted to take off there, but Coach Obed held him up. I'd say that was a smart move there by Coach Ovid. Would have been a very close play at the plate. But with Hornig trotting down the line, nothing's impossible, that's for sure. Wind up and the pitch. Dossis gets a piece of this over to center field. That'll drop in for a hit. Hornung around to score. Here comes Kavanaugh. Dossis going to keep on moving all the way to third base, and he's going to have a two RBI triple. Now the question is, will he be sent by back to second? The center fielder was holding up his hands as if it was a ground rule double, but the umpire says nope. It's a two RBI triple for Tyler Dossis. And it's a 13-0 lead for the Sevens. Kevin Balowitz steps in. He's having a good day at the plate. Two for two, a pair of singles, a pair of RBIs, and a stolen base, and a run scored. Takes that breaking pitch up high, one and oh. Lennox working from the stretch. Upstairs, two and O. Oh. Lennox from the stretch. And Balowitz hits this in the air over to left field. That'll drop in for a hit. Dossis is around to score with ease as Balowitz We'll have the ground rule double. 
A 14 to nothing Ashland Sevens lead. And that'll bring up Connor Kramer, the DH. Three more runs in the third for the Sevens. Well, this is quite the way to start off the postseason for Ashland. Starting it right hot with those bats. Wind up and the pitch. And barring some kind of miracle for Kingston, Ashland will be back here tomorrow night, 8 p.m. to take on Walpole. Who defeated Hyde Park in the first game here at Adams Field today, three to one. As this is right down the line, foul. We thought for a moment we were gonna have to sacrifice Connor to save the camera, but fortunately we didn't have to do that. And this is warm up action for Kingston. A 14 and nothing lead for the Sevens here in the bottom of the third. Upstairs. Two and one is the count. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Balowitz on second base. One out in the inning. Three more runs already in for the Sevens. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, Kramer draws the walk. Now he's certainly dangerous to have on the base pass. A lot of speed for Connor Kramer. And I'll bring up Max Dushney, the catcher. He had a two RBI single last inning. And ended up scoring Balowitz and Kramer. He's one for two on the day. An opportunity to do some more damage here. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air past the reach of the first baseman. Lead runner Balowitz gonna be waved around and he will score. An RBI single for Max Dushney, a 15-0 lead for the Ashland Sevens. Dushney at first, Kramer at second, Nick Calabrese to the plate. And the parade of hits continues for the Sevens. Wind up and the pitch. Outside, one and oh. Lennox set to deal. And this is up the right side. That is going to be a base hit. And Calabrese sees the board with a single. And now trying to come home is going to be the pinch runner. And he will score. An RBI single for Nick Calabrese. Another run in for the sevens. That was James Merloni into pinch run for Kramer. And he came around to score. Up to second goes Dushney. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Shea Donovan in there to hit for Mason Dushney. So now I think uh, with a very comfortable lead, Coach Obid just going to continue to empty that bench out. As this is hit high in the air, and the second baseman ranging over, he'll make the catch. Two away. A 16-0 lead for the Sevens. I'm gonna bring up Andrew Dennison, pinch hitting. Hey, 
And with the big lead like this, why not get everybody an opportunity? First pitch to Dennison was a strike. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to left field and that's a fair ball. Here comes another run to score. Dushney is around. An RBI single for Andrew Dennison. Nick Calabrese advancing to third. And it's a 17 to nothing lead for the Sevens. Jackson Hornung due up. We'll see if he ends up stepping in, and he will. Well, the scoreboard just can't keep up with all the Ashland Sevens scoring in this inning. Six more runs here in the third. Wind up and the pitch, and Hornung gets a piece of this into left field. Here comes Calabrese. He's waved around. Dennison held up at third, and Hornung on his way to second. Hornung with an RBI single advances on the throw in. Nick Calabrese around to score. Dennison to third, and it's 18 to nothing sevens. And we may have a pitching change here. Let's see what Coach Green does. Well, he knows Lennox can work a lot of innings, but at some point, with his teammates and coaches, Jackson Hornings, you got to uh, stop the bleeding. And that tremendous accomplishment, Jackson, your coaches, your teammates, and baseball fans, congratulate you. Great job. And Jackson Hornung with that RBI single, his hundredth hit of his career. That is an unbelievable accomplishment for Jackson Hornung. And he gets some recognition here at Adams Field, some well-deserved recognition. What a staple he has been in this Ashland Legion program over the last three seasons. He has just been tremendous. His 100th career hit in the game. He is three for three and was hit by a pitch. And he has scored three runs, has two RBIs, just adding on to those stats and now has 100 career hits. A big congratulations to Jackson Hornung. New pitcher for Kingston, we're gonna step aside. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. Dom Cavanaugh will step in and 18 to nothing Ashland 7's lead. Runners on second and third, two outs in the inning. Cavanaugh going to try to extend it. Ooh, did he get hit? Nope, just get out of the way. One and oh. New pitcher for Kingston, the fourth of the day, Jensen Benavides on the mound. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, one and one. Andrew Dennison at third, Hornung at second after recording his 100th career hit with the Ashland Legion slash sevens program. Wind up and the pitch. That hit him. Base is loaded. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis, who so far today has been hit by a pitch, reached on an error, and had a two RBI triple earlier in the inning. And it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter. Nick Larsh. Nick Larsh stepping in to hit for Dossis. Everyone's going to. Get a little experience in this game just about for the sevens. There's a strike. Oh and one on Larsh. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one in a right field it goes. Here comes Dennison around to score. Hornung being waved around. He will score as well. And it's a 20 to nothing lead for the Sevens. An RBI, two RBI single for Nick Larsh. And my score sheet is officially a mess as Andrew Dennison and Hornung come around to score. And now we're gonna get Brian Gazzard to the plate, or famously known as Bubba. Pinch hitting for Balowitz. 
Kavanaugh on second, Nick Larshon first. Good piece of hitting there. Wind up and the pitch. There's a called strike, one and one. A nine run third inning for the sevens. And that'll get away from the catcher. Both runners advance with ease. A wild pitch there. Tom Cavanaugh on third, Nick Larsh to second. The 1-1. One, one. And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught for the third out, but not before the Ashland Sevens plate. Nine more runs. They lead it 20 to nothing as we head to the top of the fourth on HCAM WACA TV and HCAT. Top of the fourth inning, and we're not joking, it's a 20 to nothing lead for the Sevens as the first pitch to Chris Quigley's up high. Tomaselli out there, and Liz Kingston can really get the bats going. This game will likely end after five. That pitch fouled away, one and one. There are some changes for the sevens in the field. Shea Donovan is over at third base. So we'll try to get you uh, some other changes as well. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and one. Well, besides the tremendous offense, Matty Tomaselli has had a good day on the mound. He has five strikeouts overall. A little outside, says the umpire. Two and two is the count. Three, four, and five do up for Kingston. Here in the top of the fourth. That's fouled away. Count remains two and two. There's strike three, one away. I'll bring up Mike Schmitz, who started the game as the pitcher, then moved over to second base. Nick Larsh is over at second base. And Tom Cavanaugh moved over to shortstop. That pitch a little outside, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch, two and oh. A little low there. Leg lift and the pitch, swing and a miss, two and one. Well, the Sevens bats have been red hot, but 20 runs in this game, that means they're white hot here to start the playoffs. Two and two. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. There's out number two. Seventh strikeout of the game for Matty Tomaselli. I'll bring up Jack Quigley. Wind up and the pitch, up high. That one got away from him. Wind up and the pitch. A 
one and oh count. Leg lift and the pitch, that hit him. Quigley marches down to first. One on, two outs. Jackson Milbert do up. Now batting for Kingston, number 27, Quinton Kittredge. Quinton Kittredge is gonna pinch hit. Well, a long night for Kingston, but We'll get a chance in the five o'clock game tomorrow in the loser's bracket against Hyde Park to rebound. And of course, Ashland Sevens will be heading to the eight o'clock night game in the winner's bracket to take on Walpole. And of course, with this type of tournament format, it's crucial to stay in that winner's bracket. It's very tough to battle back once you get that first loss. That's fouled away. It's two loss elimination tournament. So in tomorrow's action, either Hyde Park or Kingston will be eliminated. Winner of that game will stay alive and then the loser of Ashland and Walpole will play against the winner of the loser's bracket game. As this is gonna get through, it'll be a single and the first hit of the day for Kingston. Two on, two outs. Jake Holmes to the plate. Kingston, number eight, Ryan Santa. And we'll get another pinch hitter here. Ryan Sano will step in. Swing and a miss. Yo one swing and a miss, so and two. Thomas Sally deals up high. Well, it would certainly be good moving forward for the sevens if Thomas Sally is able to. Get out of this game and go the whole distance. There's a strike and strikeout number eight for Matty Tomaselli. We will move on to the bottom of the fourth. The Ashland Sevens leading Kingston 20 to nothing. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Playoff Baseball. Merloni. Bottom of the fourth inning, James Merloni will step in. Came in the game for Connor Kramer. Came in a pinch run last inning and scored a run. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Jensen Benavides out there to try to finish it out for Kingston. A 20 to nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. That pitch outside, one and one. And I think it's very safe to say that Ashland will be playing in the winner's bracket tomorrow night, eight o'clock right here at Adams Field against Walpole. And this is golfed in the air. Slow roller picked up by the third baseman. Throw to first. And it's gonna pull the first baseman off the bag. Marloni beats it out. And that'll bring up Max Dushney. That was a pretty routine play. I'm gonna score that in error. Runner on first, no outs for the sevens. Trying to add some security. Benavides set to deliver. Fouled away. Runner with a lead off of first. Up high, gets away from the catcher, and Merloni's going to advance to second. And unless. Uh, Kingston can plate 11 runs next inning, or maybe more depending on what happens here in this bottom of the fourth. They'll be down to their last three outs. Line up and the pitch, outside. 
two and one. Set to deliver. That's hit in the air, right side, foul territory, and it's dropped. <laughs> Kingston just having all kinds of problems out there tonight. Routine play there. Here's the 2 2. And that's fouled away. Wind up and the pitch. Inside, runner's going to advance to third. Another wild pitch allows Marloni to advance. I think the Ashland Sevens have scored more runs in this game than the Red Sox have all season. <laughs> Wind up and the pitch. Hit in the air over to right field, and that'll drop in for a hit. Merloni around to score. It's 21 to nothing, Sevens. An RBI single for Max Dushney, and he is having himself a day. Three for four at the plate. Five RBI, four RBIs for Dushney. Lawrence Tang will step in for Nick Calabrese. Commonly referred to as Larry from his teammates. Takes a strike there. No outs in the inning for the Sevens. And that's hit high in the air over to left field and it is caught for the first out of the inning. Dushney stays put at first base. That'll bring up Shea Donovan who came in the game for Mason Dushney. Wind up and the pitch. Up the left side, gloved by the shortstop, throw to second, gets away, everyone's safe. So none of it will reach on the error and now advancing to third is going to be Dushney. As the ball trickled into the right field. Runners on the corners, one out, and Andrew Dennison coming to the plate. An RBI single in his only plate appearance in the game since he came in for Sam Farrell. Wind up and the pitch. Up high. One and oh. Set to deliver is Benavides. There's a strike. Donovan at first, Dushney at third. And this is golfed right towards us and foul. Connor thought about trying to make a catch. One and two. Wind up and the pitch. Up high, two and two. Down low, that'll fill up the count on Dennison. Jackson Horning do up next. One out in the inning, two on, another run already in for the sevens. And Dennison draws the walk. That'll load up the bases for Mr. 100. Actually, we're going to have a pinch hitter. I figured they would pinch hit for Jackson at this point in the game. Chris Cordani will step in. A little high. 1 and 0. Oh. A 21 to nothing, Ashland Sevens lead. They're up by three touchdowns. 
There's a strike. One and one. Outside. Two and one. Tom Cavanaugh do up next, and he is in the on deck circle. Upstairs, walk here would score a run. There's ball four, and a run comes around. 22 to nothing, Ashland Sevens. Up to third goes Donovan, Dennison to second. Cordani to first, Dom Cavanaugh to the plate. There's a strike. Cavanaugh's three for three and has been hit by a pitch. He's scored three runs and driven in a couple. And he'll follow that one away, 0-2. Well, the Sevens have a chance to bat around for their third straight inning. Up high. One and two. Up high. Two and two. Nick Larsh do up next. And that'll get away. Coach Obed will hold up the runners. Why take the risk at this point? Full count. Yeah, I mean, when you're up this big, you certainly don't want to send runners in any type of tight situation and risk any kind of injury. Play very conservative at this point and try to reserve the healthier team. And Kavanaugh hits this one in the air, right side, and that'll drop in. For a hit, Donovan's around to score. Here comes Dennison around to score. And the Sevens plate two more. A two RBI double for Dom Cavanaugh. Shea Donovan and Andrew Dennison around to score. Chris Cordani up to third. Now batting number nine, Nick Larsh. And it is a 24 to nothing Ashland Sevens lead. This has to be a record for most runs in a game in Ashland Legion history. We'll have to do some research into that, but I'd imagine it is. Just about everybody they put in the batter's box is doing some damage here tonight. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. I'm curious as to if the uh, groundhog that made an appearance last time we were here in Halston is watching this game tonight. Inside. Of course, the last time they played here was their only loss of the season against Milton. Nine to five was the final in that one, a wild game that went nine innings. Ashland played it a run in the top of the seventh to go ahead one nothing. Milton tied it up to send it to the eighth at one apiece. Ashland, or excuse me, then Milton uh, was the away team. They played it four runs in the top of the eighth. As there is a walk that will reload the bases. And that will bring up Brian Gazzard to the plate, or famously known as Bubba. But Milton scored four runs in the eighth, and Ashland tied it up at five in the bottom of the eighth. But then in the top of the ninth, Milton able to plate four more and took the game nine to five. And of course, that was the Groundhog game as well. Groundhog made an appearance and stayed on the field for a good couple of minutes before players from both teams were able to get him off. There's a strike. Certainly a lot of entertainment that night, as there is tonight. 24 runs of entertainment. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. 
Well, maybe they gotta implement some other kind of mercy rule. If you're up by 20, they could stop it after four. Line up and the pitch. Down low, gets away from the catcher, and Coach Obed gonna play it conservative here. Why put his runners in a risky situation? Three runs in the first for the sevens, eight in the second, nine in the third, and so far another four here in the fourth. That's a fair ball, and no, it's foul. Just foul. Two-two pitch. And this is hit in the air, left side, caught by the third baseman, two away. And for the third straight inning, the Sevens have batted around. Stepping in is James Merloni. Bases remain loaded. And it looks like we're gonna get another pinch hitter here instead. Pinch hitting for Ashland, number three, Louis Dennison. Louis Dennison's gonna pinch hit. And his teammates going wild. Fouled away. Well, the Sevens having a whole lot of fun tonight. We'll see what Louis Dennison can do with his first plate appearance. Outside, two and oh, or excuse me, one and one. Down low, two and one. Took a bounce before it went off his leg. Now they're going to award him. So Louis Dennison's going to get an RBI. Maybe it didn't take a bounce before. Might have went off his leg, then took the bounce. And the umpire was right there, so he must have saw something we didn't. So another run scores as Cordani's around. Moving up to second is Larsh, up to third, Kavanaugh. And we'll get a pitching change here for Kingston. Benavides comes out of the game. A 25 to nothing lead here in the bottom of the fourth. We'll take a timeout on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. 25 to nothing, the Ashland Sevens leading Kingston. Fifth pitcher of the day for Kingston, Max Dush, and he steps in. Lined up and the pitch, fouled away. You know, last time these two teams met, it was a pretty competitive game. It went back and forth, ended 10 to six. And there was a lot of points where Kingston got within a run or two. And it was pretty back and forth, but tonight, Ashland Sevens domination. Lined up and the pitch, outside. One and one. Well, despite the fact we're in the bottom of the fourth, this game an hour and 45 minutes old, down low. On the season, Ashland has scored a, leading into this game, they've scored a total of 127 runs. So they've scored about 20% of their season total tonight. There's a swing, two and two. Bases are loaded for the sevens. Let's see if they can get 30. And this is up the middle, and it is bobbled by the shortstop, and everyone's safe, and another run scores. So Dushney reaches on the fourth error of the day for Kingston. Kavanaugh around to score. 26 to nothing, sevens. Lawrence Tang to the plate. He flew out his 
Only plate appearance. And he'll get a piece of this one. And glove by the second baseman. Throw to second for the force out. And they will get it. And that will wrap up the bottom of the fourth. We head to the top of the fifth. Kingston down to their final three outs with the mercy rule likely coming into effect. A 25-0 lead for the Sevens. You're tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Playoff Baseball. Top of the fifth inning, a 26 to nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. And stepping in for Kingston is Jensen Benavides, fouled away there. And he's batting in the eighth slot now. Matty Tomaselli with a chance at a complete game here. Could be a complete game shutout. Down low, one and one. Well, an explosive performance by the Sevens Bats here tonight. And you can't start off the postseason any better than the Ashland Sevens did here today. Here's the 2 1. There's a strike. Two and two. Wind up and the pitch. Foul tip. Count remains two and two. Well, the sevens today have scored 26 runs on 19 hits. No errors so far. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, out number one. That'll bring up Nick Guy Rudy. This game approaching the two hour mark. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the left side foul. There's a strike, 0 oh and 2. Down low, 1 and 2. Well, after tonight, the Ashland Sevens will be 15 and 1 on this season. And 1 and 0 oh in the playoffs. Outside, 2 and 2. And this is hit high in the air, over to left field, and being called off by the center fielder for out number two. Nice job there by Shade Donovan. Taking over in center field, making a nice catch there. Two away. We'll have a pinch hitter here for Kingston. Jake Holmes at the plate. Outside. Well, with the mercy rule, Kingston down to their final out here. Two and oh. And this is hit in the air over to right field and caught for the third out of the inning. And that should do it. The Ashland Sevens are going to come away with a 26 to nothing win against Kingston to open the playoffs. The Sevens played 26 runs on 19 hits. Kingston, no runs, one hit. So Ashland will take on Walpole tomorrow night right here at Adams Field. Matty Tomaselli is your winning pitcher tonight for the Sevens. An unbelievable hitting performance by the Ashland Sevens tonight. 
as they take the victory 26 to nothing over Kingston in a five inning mercy. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time, Ashland wins playoff game number one, 26 to nothing. Thanks for watching, take care, enjoy the rest of your night, and we'll talk to you again soon. Good night, everybody.